Hola, folks. Buenos tardes. Buenos noches. Buenos something. Buenos tequila. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I'll get to that. For I am the one and the only El Vagabundo. Hijo del Hobo. El Vagabundo. Dos. I'm here to give all the predictions for, I guess, this weekend. Wow. There's a lot of wrestling. But first, before I start my song, hit my music. Good. Now for my song, to start off with Crown Jewel, we shall have the, the tequila song. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, four, and let's see, I'll save that for the second part. So there shall be part dose of the tequila song coming up. Do you guys don't want to hear that? Do you want to hear about Crown Jewel? That's going to... It's actually happening in a few days. Will I have enough tequila to get me through Crown Jewel? Indeed. Let's see here. Um, oh, wow. I already filled this out. This is good. Let's see here. Probably with the undercard. And I'll have to tell Senior Hobo Tom to start making this because this is complex. So we'll probably have Mansoor versus Mustafa Ali because so, we have to get the crowd happy to begin with. Mansoor being a native of Saudi Arabia. I think one of the Moors there. Mansoor shall win. Jeez. Yeah, Mansoor is going to win. That's going to be an okay match. And then, I have no idea on the match order, so I'll be honest with that. We have Edge versus Seth Rollins. I don't know. I don't think Edge is going to be hanging around much longer. So actually, since I have space, since I removed four bottles of tequila, that's a heck of a lot of tequila, folks. Especially some of those, uh, some of the size of those bottles. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, Edge versus Seth. I can't see Edge staying around in WWE. Seth is a much longer prospect. And I think Vince finds whatever Seth is doing compelling. Seth Rollins wins. Who cares? Oh, I'll tell you what. The match of the night, though. Match... De la noche. It's RK Bro versus Senor AJ Styles and Mas Grande Senor Omas. I don't see them putting the titles on AJ and Omas again. They're too good chasing the title. And remember, you always have to think of what the Saudis like. Saudis like themselves some Randy Orton. RK Bro wins. They retain their Raw titles. I don't think the Usos are defending this pay-per-view. If not, I miss it. I don't care. There's, there's way too much. There's way too much going on, on this card anyway. Then eventually we'll have Big E taking on... Drew McIntyre. Now, the thing is, the Saudi people do respect the person who wields a sword. A very blade-based culture. So I think, and this is probably not the popular opinion, Drew McIntyre wins. Other than the fact that Biggie's had his title run, and... That's pretty good for now. This, oh, I don't know which is going to be worse. 
And one of these matches are going to be on the early. And we have Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's not going to be entertaining. They're not going to be able to wear their typical outfits. They'll probably have to wear a spandex bodysuit and some big puffy t-shirt to hide their femininity. Because it is Saudi Arabia. Boo, Saudi Arabia! What does it be like? The free spirits of Brazil. No. No, that's too free. Mexico. See, si. A little toned down. Not quite Brazil. Not Saudi Arabia. Mexico. Si. Si. Oh, Cubano women. Oh, yes. Pure Cubano women. Yes. They want, yes. Pure Cubano. So, yeah, this is going to be a, this is going to be weird. You know what? Becky Lynch is going to retain her title. I don't see any titles really switching hands. Except for the one. Because again, that might be it. And then I'll tell you what. After drinking all of this yummy, delicious tequila, I'm eventually going to have to sober up. So therefore, that's going to happen during the Queen of the Ring match. Or the Queen's Crown, whatever they call it. Um, between Dewdrop and Selena Vega. And this sounds like some idiot thing Vince McMahon would like to do. And just to make a joke out of it. I'm going to be taking my snooze through this match anyway. Dewdrop wins. Between Dewdrop and Selena Vega. Ay caramba. Ay, ay, ay. Um, the King of the Ring match. That will be more interesting though. Because you'll have Xavier Woods versus... Prince Devitt, the real rock and roller. Because, you know, he is too sweet for life. Or life. So Prince Devitt moves up the status and he becomes King Devitt. Oh, I mean King Balor. And, the, and mainly because Xavier was already sat on the throne, he had Kofi put the cape on him. No, no, no. Too late for that to happen already. So, King Balor. And that'll be good. And then in my stone cold tequila lock of the night, it's going to be Bobby Lashley. Versus Bill Goldberg in a no-holds-barred match. Bobby Lashley's going to win. That's simple. Worst comes to worst, he can call him the Hurt Business to beat up people. My Stone Cold Tequila Lock. And then finally, oh, there have been rumors about this. And I don't know. Roman Reigns has done such good work. And you still have the Usos. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Match wise, it's not going to be good. Because Brock Lesnar, if he, he can go five or seven minutes at most, Roman Reigns could go 20 minutes, could have a good solid 20 minute match. Paul Heyman is supposed to turn on Roman Reigns, his tribal chief. Oh, I just... Now I don't know since I heard that rumor. It's terrible. Um, 
So you know what? I'm still going to go with my initial pick. Roman Reigns retains his championship. There's going to be no championship changes across the... Well, except for the one. They have to have one to, to make the Saudis happy. You're going to have a crowning of the King of the Ring, a Queen of the Ring. There'll be... Mo Again. <laughs> How are you going to hide all of Dewdrop? And will Selena Vega actually wear a full bodysuit with a baggy t-shirt? This is going to be such a weird crown jewel. I will be covering it live, or at least Senior Hobo Tom will be covering it live on Thursday because I think he has off that day and it's actually on his calendar. So yeah. Oh, this is just going to be weird. So that's it. So there we go. You know what? It's been a while since you've seen me, the Techno Blue Ranger, mainly because it's party time. Serious. So we have one tequila, two tequila, three tequila. Four. Five tequila. Six tequila. Seven tequila. Who needs anything more? So... Well, wait a second. Why is there so much tequila? Who was here last? And why was I not invited to this party? The heck? You have to have... If you had the Techno Blue Ranger, baby, you know it's just time to party. So hit my music. Yeah, so this I, the Technical Blue Ranger. I haven't been on in a while. And let's see here. Okay, there we go. That's pretty good. I need that so I can kind of see stuff. I'm here to talk about Impact Wrestling. Probably the number one source of women's wrestling. Well, maybe not so much. Oh, and I have a thank you to give at, at the end of this whole video, so that's okay. Hang on for that, good sir. So, yes. So this is going to be about Bound for Glory. Yes, Impact's true party of the year. Again, you know it's a party. There is so much tequila present. I don't know why. And I'm here, the Techno Blue Ranger, the guy who just likes to party and have fun. So let's get into this card. And this is going to be for Saturday night. And hopefully the most gracious host ever, Hobo Tom. Hopefully we'll be viewing this. I hope. I never can tell. Normally Saturday nights, man, it's me and some lovely lady right here. So yeah, with that being said, and of course it was Biketoberfest, kind of unwinding. I was here in the neighborhood, so I figured I'd jump in and talk a little bit about Bound for Glory. And let's see here. A um, couple things. This seems like a pretty slack card. So I'm going to have to make some of my own special modifications to this. So let's see here. The first match. Probably going to be violent by design. The man with the gravelliest voice in wrestling, Eric Young, and his two cronies. Going to take on Heath Slater. And a mystery partner. I think it's going to be Rhino. That'll be a good match. Heath Slater and Rhino will go over in that match. So that's, that should be fun. Um, the Battle Royal. Mm. This is going to be weird. You know what? Because this card doesn't start until 10 o'clock. Which is like a really late time. Especially if you're here on the East Coast. After just maybe sharing this one bottle, 
tequila. Might have to take a nap and sober up. So this is going to be my snooze match. But I think there's going to be a surprise entrant. Um, I don't think it's going to be a standalone thing. I think Braun Strowman or whoever Braun Strowman is going to be. Titan Strowman, T Braun Titan, who knows. Um, he's going to show up. He's going to make an impact. The first person is not going to win. Chris Saban is not going to win. Um, Big Cass isn't going to win. He's going to be 20th. Braun Strowman wins. They are going to treat him like a star. So, yep, I have that right there. And then, oh, you know what? Just because it's these three. Ooh. Match of the night. And yeah, that sounds about right. We're going to have Steve Malcolm, formerly of the Forgotten Sons, Shrey Miguel, married to a now kind of overweight Princess Kimberly. I don't know what happened to her, man. She was hot. Oh, well. And then, wait for it. Wait for it. Seer, can I do some special effects here? Seer needs some special effects time. I have to call it my blue techno mage powers. Even though, what the hell is this? Seer. So let me do this. So you know who's going to show up? There's only one person who can make this a true. X Division match. Let's see here. Uh oh. I feel that groove coming, folks. I feel that groove coming. Dude. Oh, yeah. You can feel it. He's a headbanger! Yes, the one and only El Fantasma is going to be in this. You know what? So, with all that being said, oh, let me bring that back down. Reverb! So with all that being said, it's going to be too sweet for the El Phantasmo for the headbanger. Again, this is going to be quite simply my match of the night. And then we'll have the women's match, the women's tag team belts. Decay! Whoa. Taking on the. It is. Inspiration! You know what? Impact has been reconciling their image quite a bit recently. And they're trying to play nice with former WWE talent. You know what? I think the Inspiration win. That would be something good. And then finally, I don't know how much of a lock this is, but I think this is going to be important. In my stone cold lock of the night, we're going to have the walking weapon himself, Josh Alexander, versus Christian Cage. I think they've set up Josh Alexander enough. They're going to put that belt on him. Josh Alexander is the winner of this match. Now it's time to close up. Go back to my party. 
wherever I came from. Oh, wait a second. Can't do that quite yet. I have one thank you to give out. Yes. Spectral Envoy. Thank you very much, sir. But you know what, sir? You, because you are that spectral person, you have to get that six count. And with that being said, I have all this tequila. Oh, so glorious is this tequila. And again, with all that being said, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me close up. Go back to what I was doing. Yes. And everyone else have a good week. I'll see everyone later. Bye. Oh yeah, watch shows. Subscribe, like, email, some of the next screen. I think there's going to be like an, like an email screen. I don't know. Something. Bye.